Great. Well, Norm Sanders, welcome to the other side of the camera. Uh, you've done this quite a few times yourself, but uh, since you've announced your supposed retirement, uh, uh, you've been on radio, television, uh, your column's been very popular in the paper. Uh, how does it feel to be news right now that you're stepping out the door? Yeah, I liked it on the uh, on the TV, the Blues TV broadcast when they said I was retiring, and then right away everybody thought I was done, and I was like, heck, I'm only going to be 55 this year. I still have to work, so it's been interesting, and you know, just all the people that have said a lot of really nice things about me, and that that meant a lot uh, when you put in 32 years at a place that you you don't really know how much of an impact you have until you you leave, and all these people have been saying nice things, so. If, if anyone did not like me that much, they're being quiet at this point. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it has to be validating to some extent. I mean, you know, every, you and I both know what the hours are like for a sports writer. Nights, weekends, uh, things break and you have to report them quickly, especially in this digital age. Uh, it has to be gratifying to know that uh, maybe it was worthwhile. Well, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it's just I made so many great friends here, uh, coaches, players, parents. You know um, all the people that I work with at the News Democrat. I mean, it's just been it's been a heck of a ride, and you don't realize it until you get out there and you you know you see people like well, I covered his dad and I covered him and I covered this girl and just people will come up to me still and I always hope that they talk long enough to where I realize what their name is and where they're from because they know me and I'm not always sure that I know them because they're older than when I remember them in high school. Uh -huh. I have to ask a question. I mean, this is a, uh, you're not retiring, you're just moving on to uh, corporate communications type of gig. What's, what's uh, I don't want to ask you what's sending you out this time, but but just time for a change, I guess. Yeah, it's just a, a good opportunity. And when you look at things like working nine to five and not working at night and not working on weekends, that's something I've never done before in my life. So I'm eager to try that. And I'm sure it may not be as exciting as covering a triple overtime game in the hockey playoffs or the state championship, but uh, you know, it's just time. Sometimes change is good, and I'm looking forward to it. Is your wife glad? She's kind of glad, but not really glad because she's going to spend more time with me now. And I don't know how that's going to go over with uh, with old uh, Chris Sanders, but but uh, I think she's kind of happy about it secretly. <laughs> she's just not telling me. Yeah. Let me ask you, put you on the spot a little bit. Thirty-two years. Uh, what one or two things really stand out the most? There, there's so many. Um, people always ask me what was one of the best things I've ever covered. I, I covered, Altoff had a pitcher named Duran Stovall, ended up reaching the major leagues. He started the first game of the doubleheader left-handed, which was his natural side, and then pitched the second game right-handed, which is just insane, and then pitched like three or four innings right-handed, then finished out the game at second base playing right-handed. And I've seen a lot of things, but that would have to, be, to rank uh, at least tied for first. You just to see somebody that can pitch with both, and it was effective. He wasn't just like pitching; it was like effectively pitching. So that was kind of cool. Well, uh, one of the great things about sports, from my perspective, are the people and the characters. And and uh, 32 years uh, in a great sports writing career, you certainly um, belong in that ranks among some great people in the Metro East sports community. So congratulations on this bold move of yours, and and on a great 32 years of the News Democrat. Thank you. And you did mention characters. I mean, Greg Lieb and Tom Pyle and, you know, Bob Shannon. Just, I mean, there's so many great coaches that I got to deal with on a regular basis. It was really fun. They go on and on. Well, good luck to you, Norm Sanders. Thank you.